So to give this application the title of one of the best utilities for Fire Stick for 2020 is not a small thing. And the reason why I think it deserves that title is with this application, we can now back up all of the applications on our device. This application will also daisy chain multiple installation files and then install them automatically for you. I know lots of you do something similar in a manual way for your friends and family or maybe for your Firestick customers. But with this application, it can automate that process for you. And lastly, you can fully manage all of the installed applications on your device. So do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so the reason why this came about is one of my followers, uh, Charles Phillips, actually asked me a question on how he can improve or automate the installation of uh, APK files. And there are multiple ways of doing this. And there's actually a separate method which uses your PC. But in this video, I'm going to focus on this application just because it makes the process a little bit easier. Uh, not all of you have a PC or maybe not all of you are confident in typing in commands, but if you are, then do leave me a comment below and I'll show you the exact commands you need to type in to push applications from your PC onto your Android device or onto your Fire Stick. And just make sure you've got both these set to on. Once you confirm that, let's press the home key and let's now open up Downloader because we're going to make a connection to my website to download this application file. So, and we know the address for that is just bit.ly forward slash tduk that's me and the numbers 2019. Let's type that in and click on go or just press the play button on your remote. Now, when you get to my website, you want to head over to the tutorial section because I've created a dedicated page for this exact process. So let's click on the hamburger menu and click on tutorials. And here is the latest tutorial. Let's scroll down. So the application in question is called APK Installer. And as we can just see here, guys, it really has some fantastic features. And of course you can install this onto any Android device, like maybe your Android cell phone or your tablet, your Android box, your Nvidia Shield. But in our example, we're going to install it onto our Amazon device. Let's scroll down. And here, for example, we can see using the info viewer, we can also get information like the package name, which is useful if you want to migrate applications from internal storage over to your USB drive. Okay, let's scroll down and we should then see the direct link to the application. Here it is. Let's click on that. Let's scroll down and click on the green download button. And that will then download the application file directly onto your device. Once that's done, we can now click on install. Give that a second. And we then get the message that the application is now installed successfully. Let's click on done and let's now press the home key. Okay, so once you've installed that, let's open that up. Now, the only slight negative thing with this application is that it does require a mouse toggle for certain operations. So when you are using it, you will have to bring up the virtual mouse. And if you don't have to bring up a virtual mouse, I will leave a link in the video description on how you can install that. But on my device, I can just double press the play button. There's a virtual mouse there. Okay, so we have a couple of things. We have the option to install multiple apps. We can manage the already installed applications on our device. And this application also has a PC version, which I'm not going to cover in this video, but if you want to do a similar thing from your PC, so all of your application installation files are on your PC, you can then use the PC version of this application and then just push them out to whichever Fire Stick or whichever device you want to install those applications to. But for now, let's click on this one here, install apps. Now this will now do a scan of your downloader folder, your download folder, and lastly your APK installer folder. And if it does find any application files, it will then put them in the list here. It will then confirm to you if the application is already on your device or not. Say for example, we can see it's found the installation file for Aptoid TV and it can confirm that it's not installed. Let's keep going down. Here we have one for the Fire OS update blocker. Here we can see we have one for ES File Explorer. And in this example, we can see the application is already installed. Let's keep going down. 
Here we can see it's found the installation file for easy file tools. And again, that's not installed. Okay, so let's say now we want to install multiple applications on our device. Okay, so let's say I want to install uh, this one over here. So I want to tick that. I want to install this one over here. So that's two things so far. Let's scroll back up. And the way you scroll up is you press the context key on your remote when you are using the virtual mouse. And let's say I want to install the Fire OS update blocker. That's three things. And lastly, let's install this application called Super Freeze, which is something that I'm testing at the moment. So now that we've selected multiple APK installation files, how do we now install all of them on our device? Well, if you scroll down, we can see we have a button here for install APKs. Let's click on that. Give that a second. And that will now sequence or change those installation files and then allow you to install them one after the other. So let's turn off the virtual mouse. Let's click on install. So that's the first application being installed. So I'm hoping that once this finishes, I can click on done. And it should then automatically, as we can see guys, it's now asking us to install the second file. So let's click on install. So that's two out of two. Let's click on done. We now have the third file, click on install. Click on done. And here is the last one. Let's click on install. So we basically chained up all those installation files and we can now install them in order on our device. Let's just go to the home screen just to confirm. Let's go to the apps library. Let's go to the bottom of that list. And here are those four applications all installed on our device. So do give a thumbs up for that, guys. It really makes the process so much easier because you can just load up your device with all those installation files, then press one button, and then this application will go ahead and install all of those applications for you, especially if you are loading up your Fire Sticks for your friends or family or even your customers. Okay, let's go back into the application. So that's pretty much the main things you want to do in the Install APK menu. Let's now go to Manage Applications. Let's click on that. And this will now do a scan of all of the applications on your device. It will show you which ones are installed and the size that they're currently taking. So the first thing we can do inside of Manage Applications is actually sort out this list. So if you click on this icon down here, we can see at the moment it's sorted out by the application name. But for example, I can sort it out by file size just to show you that which applications on your device are taking up the most space. Here we can see it's this application up here. And secondly, we can see it's this game here. Now, for example, if I want to delete this, I can again press and hold on the application. We now get a context menu. I can, for example, launch the application. I can uninstall it. The next cool thing we can do in this application is back up our installed apps or back up whichever apps you like. Now, the reason why you may want to do this is if you are configuring multiple Fire Sticks, you may have certain applications that you've installed on this Fire Stick, but you don't have those installation files anymore and you now want to configure multiple Fire Sticks. How do we now get those installation files out? Well, the way we can do that in this application is we can literally just tick all of the applications you want to back up. So let's scroll down and let's say I want to back up this uh, speed test. Let's click on that. I want to back up this uh, game. Let's click on that. I want to back up this one. That's three things. And lastly, I want to create a backup of uh, this one over here. So I've now selected four applications I want to back up. So let's now click on backup. And this will now extract all of those installation files and then copy them across to that APK installer folder. So we've now basically done a backup of those applications. Let's click on confirm. So now that we backed up those applications, how can we now push them onto another device? Well, the easiest way to do that is if you open up Me Explorer, we can browse to internal storage. And this is the folder here, guys. So this is created by the application and any application that you extract or you export or you do a full backup, all this application installation files will go into this folder here. So let's open that up and we can see all of the applications that we backed up. I can now, for example, just press the context key, go to servers, click on start HTTP server. I now get an IP address and a port. So now on the other Fire Stick or other device, I can now browse to that address. Let me do that now. So this is my other Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube. I can open up Downloader. I can now type in that address, which was just 192, and then do a colon, because we're going to specify a port, and the port is just 8080. 
and click on go let's see what we see now and there we are guys we are now browsing the storage of the other fire stick from this fire tv cube so how can i just go down go to the apk installer folder and i now have a bunch of applications so let's say on this device i want to install this application up here i can click on that and just like that guys we're now pulling the application from one fire stick over to the other fire tv cube i can click on install so that's just me installing one application, but of course I could just transfer all of the installation files onto the secondary device, then install APK installer, and then use that to batch install all of them at the same time. So lots of great features, guys. I do think this is a great application. I just wish you didn't have to use the mouse toggle with it. And that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you are asking for different methods on how we can improve our APK installation process. So I do hope you like this video. If you want to see the other process where we use the command line from our PC, then do leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.